Hey guys, this is Justin with Rocky Mountain, and I'm going to show you how to modify your airbox on your 2017 Husky Two Stroke. All right, so it's become a well known fact that the 2017 Husky Two Strokes aren't breathing as well as they should. They have very restrictive airboxes. Now, a lot of guys have complained about this in previous years. And I don't know how big of an issue it was, but it's definitely more of an issue in 2017. So if you want to get your 2017 um, running better, get the most performance, most power out of it, you're going to need to open up your airbox. So real quick, let me show you what ports the bike stock has to breathe through. So I'm going to pull off the side panel. And right now the bike is able to breathe through a small hole in the back on each side and through some small holes right around the battery underneath the seat. That's the only place it has to breathe. Now, if you compare that to an, an older KTM, for example, we have a 2014 KTM here. And as you can see, you can see there's huge air ports on both sides of the air box and the top is totally open. It's open on the side of the subframe and huge open area around the battery. So. As you can see by looking at the 2017 Husky, it's definitely not breathing as well as the older KTM models. So I wanna show you what I've done to open up my airbox. You know, a lot of guys will have different opinions on this and different methods, but let me show you what I've done. The first thing that I've done is I've cut the whole side, right side of this airbox out. Um, I used a roto zip tool, but you can use a razor blade, whatever you wanna do there. And it's going to allow a lot more air to get underneath the side plate and into your airbox. One thing you want to be careful with is with the composite subframe, you don't want to do anything to it. You don't want to drill or cut into it. Only cut on the airbox. The next thing I've done to give it even more airflow is I've drilled the top of the airbox on both sides. So if I pull off both number plates, you can see that I've drilled different size holes all along the top. Now, a lot of guys cringe at the idea of drilling and cutting on a brand new bike, but if you want the bike to run well, it's kind of what needs to be done on this bike. And all these modifications are hidden under the number plates and under the seat, so you can't really see them. Now, after I did these modifications, it really cleared up some of the um, jetting issues I was having, and it's just made the bike run crisp everywhere. So anyway, that's what I've done to open up my airbox. I would love to hear your guys' comments and your suggestions on what you've done on your bike. Be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips, how-tos, and product spotlights. Thanks.